atop the roofs of Tree Lodge at Pongo lie the future of sustainable energy, solar power. These solar panels produce more than 4 megawatts of energy each month. They fully power common services such as lifts, lights and water pumps and help save about 336 megawatts a year, equivalent to powering 78 four-room households for one year. This is part of a national effort to combat the worrying trend of climate change. Currently, residents are still paying for the electricity generated from the grid, which also buys any excess electricity generated by the solar panels. According to the Housing Development Board, the solar installations at Tree Lodge export 70% of the excess energy to the grid, and they are exploring the options for households to buy the excess electricity at a discount. The solar energy generated by our HDB rooftops installed with equipped with solar panels are actually used to generate energy to power uh, the common services of the block. Uh, per se, but we are looking towards actually having residents purchase solar energy that is actually generated. But will the lower electrical costs erode the conservation mindset? Perhaps, maybe, yeah. Then, then, then maybe a concern there, lah. Correct. Pieni ma, to kayo I I think they might be, you know, especially if if they have no awareness that. You know, if they use more goods and services, it's actually also a depletion of our natural resources. According to the HDB, if the energy conservation mindsets of residents are lowered because of the more affordable solar energy, it may even deplete more energy during hazy or rainy days. Currently, our solar is a complementary system. Should solar not be sufficient to meet the needs of the electrical requirements, power from the grid will actually kick in to fit the electrical loads required. According to Mr. Nilesh, Program Director of Energy Research Institute at NTU, energy conservation is a very important aspect that works together with solar energy. He says it is important to prevent the erosion of the culture of conservation, and there are two ways for HDB to strategize their future implementation. I think there, are, there could be a few mechanisms. One would be to price the solar electricity at an appropriate price, so that uh, people are uh, people don't get the notion that it's very cheap or free. Secondly, I think the, uh, the marketing of solar energy should be done in a way that it's a clean energy option. It doesn't give you the rights or the, uh, the privilege to actually use excessive energy because uh, there, there is a limited rooftop. So although the, the sun is unlimited, the rooftop area in Singapore is limited. At the end of the day, it is our responsibility to continue to conserve electricity even in the light of solar energy and not become complacent towards our ever-growing energy needs.